Mary Robinson and I'm the president of the Canadian Federation of Agriculture. I am the fifth generation of a family farm in Prince Edward Island. We've been farming here since 1810. Prince Edward Island has a very long and well-known tradition of being a premium potato producing area. We also obviously have soybean, barley, hay, cranberries. There's a, a huge diversity of agriculture here. And what we've seen across the island is we've seen a development of both public and private investment, not only for uh, research of, say, varieties of different crops to grow, but also we've seen quite a bit of work on climate change. So at UPEI, we have a climate lab, uh, and we also have two living labs here, which are done in conjunction with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada to try to find the best options, the best way for us to continue to produce this amazing food we produce but to do it in a way that's most efficient and most friendly to the environment. In Prince Edward Island, we also have Canada's Smart Kitchen and we have the BioFood Tech. And in one of our buildings here on our farm, we've got a young woman who's come from Ontario and she's developed a vodka recipe using potatoes. And she's done that with the help of both the uh, Smart Kitchen and the BioFood Tech. Those services are so amazingly accessible and important and really help people fast track their production and value add. So Meetings and Conventions PEI, an amazing team. They really connect you with the entire network in PEI. With being such a densely populated area, there are venues, there's accommodations, restaurants, events running year round in just about every pocket of the province. We have a soil and feed session every year. We have the World Potato Expo. We're hosting the North American European Union Agricultural Conference in Charlottetown in September of 2023. And I know the team at Meetings and Conventions PEI have been exceptional in helping us connect with um, not only venues and uh, how to help people uh, build those holidays on to before or after the event, uh, but they've also helped us in finding any kind of uh, funding opportunities that might exist. I can't overstate how amazing a visit to PEI is and I know a lot of time when people do come they end up buying a home and deciding this is where they want to spend their summers or moving here altogether to raise their family or retiring here. It, it's, uh, it's just perfect. <laughs>